I hit 10k subscribers. I'm getting emotional because for so long I doubted myself for doing something that I wanted to do. 10k. Literally two months ago, I was at 1k. 1k subscribers. I'm so grateful. And today I just want to talk about maybe just being yourself and how the real ones will find you. And firstly, I'm just so grateful that I've managed to hit this milestone. When I was talking about hitting 1k last time, I was just talking about celebrating the small wins. And again, this is another win in a sense of the growth that I've seen, not only just in myself making these videos, um, but just in the growth of the community, the Nana Journey community, the family, it's like a family now to me, um, and I see it growing, and what makes me so happy is, you know, I had a lot of reservations about making videos, if you go right back to the beginning of my channel, I don't talk about things like narcissism, my narcissistic mother, I don't talk about the certain topics that I talk about so candidly now, um, that are quite, um, you have to be quite courageous I think to talk about these things and um, you know I didn't do that at the beginning but now I found my voice again I, I've um, I've realized that in me sharing the actual most difficult parts of my journey people are actually relating a lot more so you know I talk about topics like in my videos like I'm 35 and broke this is very true. I know we will have a different definition of broke, but if we're talking about the actual societal standards of what is considered your age, if we're just doing that, then yeah, I'm not at the, the stage of what another 35 year old probably is financially, but I'm talking about it. And then in that video, you'll see a lot of other people in the same situation. I talk about my, my journey with my narcissistic mother. Um, this is not something that I'm necessarily, you know, it's not something like I'm proud of and want to shout about and um, talk about so publicly in a way. Um, but I, I knew that after making the first couple of videos and seeing how many people are like relating to it, I knew it was like important actually for me to talk about it. And it's not easy for me to make those videos because I'm in such a different place in my life. Like I'm quite a peaceful person. Um, you will know if you've watched my videos, I don't really have any, I don't have any friends. So I have a lot of time by myself. I live alone. But I've created this kind of world in a sense to be very peaceful. And that's how I'm dealing with it right now. And, you know, for me to then have to go back and go back into the past and relive kind of quite painful phases in my life to try and give context to the actual videos that I'm, and the journey that I've been through um, has been a little bit challenging for me but equally rewarding because through me doing this I'm realizing how important it is in helping others and I really hope it is helping others and based on the comments that I'm getting it really is helping a lot of people and um, that's what I'm so happy for and I'm learning that along the way of this journey of YouTube, whatever it, this is that I'm voicing out to you guys, I'm learning even more about myself. Like I didn't think that I would be able to talk about certain topics. Like saying that I'm 35 and broke was really actually like embarrassing for me um, to look at and be like, wow, I'm here at this point. Even to talk about how I don't have kids. I don't have, you know, I don't have these things. I don't have many of these things, but I don't have friends and things like this. It's um, these kind of topics. People don't tend to, to talk about it. And I think this is why, um, you know, I've been able to grow the community here and grow because I'm just being myself, to be honest. I'm being myself. I'm being honest. I'm being transparent. And I think it's, very very difficult and I realize it's not for everyone and it's not easy to be very transparent and honest in your in your journey and to look at yourself and I have many flaws I'm not perfect I've got many things that you know um I need to work on 
but I also have many things that I feel that I've learned that I can share with you guys and um, yeah it's really it is challenging to be as vulnerable I guess in the videos that I am being and just putting it out there um, and I guess not everyone can do that um, I've learned that's one of I guess the gift that I've been given is communication I guess and to share that and I'm you know I may be not good at other things but this comes quite easy to me and the main thing is is that I'm helping others and I promised myself when I was living with my narcissistic mother I was like as soon as I'm in my own place and I have peace in my life I will make videos and help others about narcissism and then it's branched off into obviously different topics like I don't have any friends which is very true I don't um and I realize a lot of people are relating to those videos as well um so I'm just saying like just being myself and the thing is I didn't need I never used to be myself like this it's taken me a long time to get to this point to be like just just be yourself it's it's really not I think it's quite hard just to be so real and authentic in yourself um it's kind of hard to get to that point and it takes a lot of work and I think it takes a lot of pain as well I think I, I and what I mean is I, I think it takes a little bit of pain to get to the point where you're just yourself the thing is not everyone's gonna like me and that's fine we just have to accept that in life not everyone's gonna like me and that is totally fine I'm not for everyone you're not for everyone I'm not for everyone you're not for everyone and that is totally totally okay I think the most important thing is what I've learned along just hitting this 10k is I've learned a lot about myself in the sense of I I can be um I can go to those places and be as honest as I possibly can um I am naturally quite an introverted person and someone might say well if you're so introverted how can you talk about this so public I think because I'm in the space of my own home it's just me here and so I'm still in a space which allows an introvert to thrive and um this is why I like doing this because if you put me if I was to do this in front of a group of people I don't know if it would um I would be able to do that to be honest um so we all have different different ways in which we can help others and I feel like this is kind of a way that I'm helping others and I'm just so grateful that people are relating to this to the journey I've been through and I know people I know like in the title you can see be yourself the real ones will find you and it's so true because when you are yourself and you're sharing a real true journey only others that have been through that journey will notice the things that you're saying within your journey that are relatable that's why people are relating to my videos is because it's a true and honest journey you wouldn't you cannot if you've been through narcissistic abuse and I don't like saying that because I feel like it's only recently where I've 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 come to terms that it is actually a abuse but I don't want to talk about like it like that I don't know why I still I'm still not coming to terms with that um I'll just call it I have a narcissistic parent for now and um if you've been through that journey you will know that what I'm talking about is totally true you you just know and this is what I mean like I've realized it's like just being myself saying my journey don't come with the gimmicks or anything just being real you know people the community that we're creating here is finding me and I'm so happy for that because that's what I want I want the real people that have been through this but also on a path of positivity and a journey of you know we're going to go to a better place I don't like to live too much in the past I don't like to um, focus on too much of the negativity but in order for us to grow we have to face the challenges and this is just a, just a happy moment for me um, God 
We're not going to get emotional because I've just done my makeup. No, I'm not ruining my me. Why, why, why am I getting emotional? You. Mm, 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 um, why am I getting emotional? Because I'm getting emotional because for so long I doubted myself for doing something that I wanted to do. For so long, I didn't recognise my own my own gift that I can give to others I never recognize that within myself um I never recognize that I have something to give as much as I do and I do have a lot to give others and I feel like I'm helping others and it's given me so much purpose in my life you know my whole life I've tried to search for some form of purpose and I've never got to a point where I've I felt that, you know, I've done multiple different jobs and it's just a, it's never giving me um, a sense of I'm doing anything or contributing anything. And it's funny that the pain that I've been through is actually all along was the thing that was actually going to help others. And me learning a lot through that process of pain. Um to become this person I am today and in a way me going through that journey um has taught a lot and made me delve into a lot research a lot and um and I can now give that back in a way of my journey for maybe others that maybe it's not comfortable for them to talk about this you know and it's not for everyone And I can be that person. And I'm just so grateful because there was a time where I was just, I just never saw hope. I never saw hope for anything. And just seeing this accomplishment that I've kind of done and just seeing how everyone in this like community here, and it is a community, the non-agenic community is a community. And just seeing how do you know the people that are commenting? It's just amazing, like, to see how, like, sp- like intelligent, smart, um, awake with, like, even through all their challenges, like, like, there's light and positivity and so willing to share their journey um, in the comments. And I just feel like we're almost like friends or family. Like, you know, it's a place that, like, it's very safe for us it's okay for you to voice your journey no one's going to judge you and you know this is what I wanted I wanted to like create that kind of space because I just wanted a place to go and that's why I started doing this and so when I see this I see the kind of community that's here I see how positive and how they want to like achieve you know something better for themselves to be a more rounded piece world. and me too I wanted to achieve that every day as I'm going I'm going forward and the fact that I didn't give up, I feel like there's another thing as well. It's like, I'm one to, used to just give up, you know, give up too early. And, um, and not just give up, like, self, like, doubt myself so much where I was like, no, I can't do this, you know, it's, it's not for me. And actually, it is for me. And I'm going to embrace it. And I'm going to celebrate the 10k here. <laughs> And um, it feels good to, like, um, just accomplish something, you know? It really feels good. And even if I don't have a parent or anyone around me to say, well done, you know, I'm just give myself a pat on the back. And I just want to say thank you to you guys. You don't understand how much, when I read the comments, how much it means to me. Um when you share your journeys, I'm just like, I'm not alone in this. And the fact that it's helping people along the way, this is the most, most amazing thing. It's the most amazing thing that like me learning about things, me going through things has not been a waste. It's actually, and me, and I guess me becoming like, 
not a bitter person about it you know that's what I try not to do I don't want to become a bitter person I don't want to become um oh poor me you know I don't want to I don't want to have that narrative I don't want to subscribe to that story um and I don't want you guys to and I know you guys are not going to and I'm just so happy you're here and even on the 1k you know it's so amazing like how people are like congratulations you know it's so lovely to see like people that are in there that even if they're going through challenges or whatever they're going through you know how good that comes back to you when you just give someone else a congratulations you don't know how much that would mean to someone but also when you give that to someone you're gonna get it back and it's so good to see that in the comments like just people giving out positivity and stuff and it's just like it's just great to see that when you're making videos and having a community that are here that is so supportive so positive and i love that and i'm just so happy i'm so happy i made 10k i'm so happy i can't believe it i literally can't believe it i got 10k like i just can't believe it and i just i'm so thankful i'm so grateful that i can make videos thank you so much um thank you i, I know this might be a bit dramatic like it's just 10k you know and I know there's people out there have got like 1 million followers and stuff like that but for me you don't understand it's such an accomplishment for me and uh yeah but I think the premise and the moral of this whole video is real recognizes real and I think this is the the theme here is that when you're just yourself just purely yourself and you share something very real it's been very i've been have to go to places that i've been very vulnerable um emotions just randomly come up and yes i'm dealing through things and it's going to be an ongoing process um you know i'm sure there'll be more tears like in the future and i i wish there wasn't it's not like i'm just trying to it's just naturally like oh, it's yeah it's hard to express but um just thank you and we're just going to keep going i'm not going to give up i'm going to keep making these videos even though you know it can be tough sometimes but it's important that these videos are made it's important that we talk about topics like women with no friends men with no friends having zero friends growing up with a narcissistic mother growing up with narcissistic parents being broke being 35 and having no kids it's important that i talk about these topics as much as they are maybe seemed as taboo and things that people just want to not talk about it's very very important that we normalize some of these topics to be talked about openly um and honestly and there's no shame in that where we are in our journey it's fine we all have a different journey i've learned not to compare myself too much with others to be in my own lane and um you know just to be happy where i am and enjoy each step of the way and enjoy the journey as it goes along and i think the main thing is if you're just honest with your journey and what you're putting out there i think others that have been through that will understand that you is a real journey you know i i mean i can i can sense when someone is not um kind of not been through or, or has it or can't just it's, it's about going there as well like you it's going there like i have to really go there sometimes like to the depths of it and um even though i like sometimes i don't even want to like you know should i be doing this but you know what you guys are relating to it so i'll keep them coming and i just want to say thank you so much for your support thank you so much for um just being like positive supportive lights like supportive community family friends like i just thank you so much for being that community that this is like what i was hoping for and you know it's it's more than i could have um expected so thank you so much and um we're here we'll keep it going we we'll more videos will come and um just thank you 
and just be yourself you know there's only one you and um embrace that and um yeah so just thank you so much thank you i hit 10k let's get to the next one 20k i'll be back Mm. when do you think how long do you think we'll be back Mm. two months what do you think let me know in the comments anyway more videos are coming bye y'all